Um, earlier, uh, Dean McGuire asked this question, and I will uh, I'll, I'll just bring it to the to the forefront because it was I'm assuming it's going to be answered very well. Uh, Dean McGuire, great channel you oh, great channel you have, mate. What's your experience using findings filtration, and uh, do you have a preference? Uh, my man, September and June, who we should all be listening to, um, he's used DE filter sheets, which is cellulose, powdered product, and liquid findings. I have benefits and draw, all have benefits and drawbacks. All work relatively the same. Whatever is easiest, practical is the best. Yeah, and, and I'll echo what September said. Um, on the homebrew side, I use gelatin and I put some clear ass beer into bottles. Um, I have used uh, Biofine. I have plate and frame filtered with uh, filter sheets, cellulose sheets. Um, I've not used DE. I've not used the centrifuge, um, things like that. Me personally, um, I would like to, uh, you know, I, I think uh, filtration is, is great, especially with lager. Um, you can get some really nice, gorgeous, brilliant beer. Um, I think you can run into trouble potentially on the hot forward side, depending on how aggressively you're going. And you might say, well, it, it, you wouldn't want any findings or any filtration on something that's already hazy. Um, but you might be interested to know that some of your favorite haze beers, uh, haze beer breweries are using uh, something like Biofine at such a rate that it will not completely knock the haze out, but it will actually help drop some of like the polyphenol harshness, the hot burn out of beers. Um, Sapwood Cellars, um, where's his book? It's right over here. Scott Janish new IPA. He will talk about, uh, he will talk about using biofine. He, they, they make, they make hot boy hazy beers and they do use it in that because they say it actually makes it a little bit faster to shelf. Um, but yeah, uh, I remember I have plate and frame filtered, uh, a two pound per barrel IPA back in the day when I was working at a place called Crankers, my first spot. And it would, it would pull hot character out of the beer. Um, so, the 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 late great Mike McDowell from Brewing Network fame would say that's a recipe issue. You need to add more hops, and then you'll have less on the other side. Um, but um, IPA doesn't need to be a clear product these days, um, unless you're like doing hardcore West Coast something like that, or some of the other clear variants that they're doing now. Filtration definitely definitely has its space. Um, I think you can. Uh, I, I, some of the finding agents say they don't do anything negative uh, to foam, um, but I, I have friends that have used Biofine and went away from it when they started using a centrifuge and their foam uh, produce, uh, increased, uh, their foam stands increased uh, and, and foam longevity increased as well. So um, yeah, anyways, uh, interesting, stuff to, uh, interesting stuff to check out. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. If you feel as if you got any value out of the video, please like and subscribe. There are also other videos that you can watch. They're gonna maybe be over here or over here. Appreciate you watching.